Good morning. It is Andrea's log star date, Wednesday, April 3rd at uh, 6 12 a.m. And um, just wanted to post a video and let you know that Andre is stable. He's feeling pretty rough. He's in a lot of pain, but he's doing okay. He's still moving his feet and toes and lifting his legs just a little. So, so far, so good, I guess. We'll talk to the doctors this morning. But I wanted to throw something out here and kind of document it for myself to come back and look at. I have been getting slammed all over the place with live your dream, what's God's dream for you, live your dream, find your dream, all about living your dream. And I have been very confused and lost because I feel felt like I don't even know what my dream is or what it ever was. And so I just started asking God to show me. And yesterday, there was somebody that posted a question, what would you do if you knew you wouldn't fail? And I just shot from the hip and wrote, I would, own, I would open my own art studio and I would teach kids how to do art, how to paint and draw and all that. And it kind of shocked me that I wrote that. And then I thought, well, why would I do that? And I realized it's because I absolutely love doing art with kids. And if I think about the things that give me the greatest energy and when I know that I'm totally in my passion and in my purpose, it's when I'm playing with kids doing art. It could be drawing or painting or whatever when I'm creating with them. And um, I know that I'm not going to change my career path. I'm already in it, and um, I'm always going to be a project manager. But I was... When that came out of me, I was like, wow, okay. And then I'm like, well, where would I get a studio? Well, I don't know. And so I'm having this dialogue inside my mind with God or my heart with God. Um, and I live on a half acre lot. Who knows? Maybe someday I'll build a little art studio and teach kids how to do art there. It's not something that I want to get rich at. It would be great if I did, but it's just something that's my passion, and it feeds my soul. And so I don't know if I'm going to do anything with that or not, but it's something that I got in my mind, and I was like, oh, maybe I need to investigate this. Maybe I need to start walking around in the hall that I'm waiting in trying to find what my dream is and jiggle the door handles and see if God opens one. I don't know, but I got that on my mind. And part of me, if that could happen, that would excite the hell out of me. I mean, it's just like, wow, mind blown, right? So we'll see. Time will tell. I'm going to take baby steps toward that and see where it goes. And I know it won't happen overnight. And I do not want it to be something that my whole livelihood is dependent on to pay the bills. Because if it's that, then it'll become drudgery and work and it won't be the passion that I have. But I want it to be something that I would enjoy doing and love investing in children. So, I don't know. We'll see. I guess if it is to be and I step out in faith, there's my word for this week again. God will open the doors, right? So, thanks again, everybody, for your prayers and love and support and messages to me and especially the prayers for Andre and everything. And I have another person that I'm not going to mention, but she needs your prayer. And it's an un, 
specified kind of prayer, but all you got to do is ask God to bless the lady that Andrew's got on her mind, and he'll know who it is. So, anyways, thank you. Love you guys. Enjoy your hump day.